you've had trouble dropping off a lost dog or adopting a cat at the Animal Foundation recently, you're certainly not alone. Thanks for joining us live on TV, Android TV, or wherever you're streaming us right now. I'm Trisha Keene. And I'm Todd Quinones. Well, shelter officials say the situation should get better. 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen right now is live at the Animal Foundation, breaking down the changes that they are making there, Jeremy. Yeah, Todd and Tricia, we've received messages from animal welfare advocates as well as groups about their frustrations about doing anything at the Animal Foundation, and they suspect that the shelter may be full. However, shelter officials tell me that is not the case, and they have made some changes during this week to help streamline any sort of process. It's extremely frustrating for people who love animals and who are involved in the rescue community not having that resource that is supposed to be available to us. Resources, Angie Swayze says her volunteers have been trying to access at the Animal Foundation. She's part of a group that helps round up stray or abandoned dogs and says the shelter was not accepting the dogs they were dropping off at Lost and Found. So we've had a lot of complaints about uh, stray dogs being turned away, being told that the shelter was full. Um, we've had multiple complaints of owners trying to go down and reclaim their dogs. Swayze and other animal welfare groups say the complaints include people trying to adopt dogs and having to make appointments to access services or wait hours. She believes the shelter may be full and that there's not enough staff. She wants accountability from the shelter. We want responsibility on behalf of the animal control. We want transparency. We want accountability. We want someone to address these issues and we want follow through. The Animal Foundation says it's never at capacity. We're an open admission shelter, so we take in every animal, no matter how sick or injured, and we're always making room for new animals to come into the shelter. It says it's made changes over the past few days with only the clinic requiring appointments. Lost and Found does not require an appointment, but is recommended. Adoptions are now only done through walk-ins with a waiting list. We have an adoption promotion going on right now, so we're extremely busy. So the wait list may close out for the day or maybe a several hour wait to meet that pet. Owners looking to reclaim their pets won't be able to go back in the kennels and find them. As the shelter says, it's with the animal's welfare in mind. It stresses the animals out, and that was something that we learned in COVID, so we wanted to continue that. The shelter acknowledges it does have a staffing shortage and is actively trying to recruit more people. Everything we do, we're doing it in the best interest of the animals and our team members, and just be patient with us. Now, the Animal Foundation tells me they have prepared for weeks for the 4th of July weekend. That is when they will see an influx of pets coming in. Now, for those who don't know, this is actually the weekend when a lot of pets might get freaked out over the fireworks shows. They run away from home, and fortunately, if they're fortunate, they will get picked up by people and then given over to shelters like the Animal Foundation where owners can come and reclaim them. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News. Jeremy, thank you.